Hello, everybody. This is Dan Hill with Larson Jewel. Hope everybody is doing well, and thank you for taking the time to view this video. Today's video is going to give you a quick tutorial on how to place orders uh, on Larson Jewel's uh, ordering website that we call LJ Connect. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and hop right into this. Uh, first thing you always want to do is go to shop.larsonjewel.com. That is our uh, site for um, any of our customers to be able to uh, look at any of our services and or place orders. Uh, you also want to go ahead here on your first screen to go ahead and log in. As always, if you're not sure of your login credentials, uh, just hit the forgot password button and it will walk you through getting you set back up or um, you get, may also call into customer service and they can give you those credentials. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in. Mine are already gonna be saved. Um, just a little a tip, um, all of our uh, sites and information works best on Google Chrome, um, and that's what I use, and that particular feature of Chrome will store those passwords in for you automatically. All right, so once you're on the main screen here, lots of different things and uh, places you can go to look at uh, items, um, but today we're gonna concentrate on how to order, and I'm gonna specifically uh, go with how to order uh, once you're in the um, uh, order feature versus searching and then adding it to the cart. So to start your order, you wanna go over here to the right-hand side and uh, whatever I'm talking about today, I will be, uh, it's my cursor will be pointing to it. Uh, so we're gonna click on cart and that will take us to uh, the first screen of ordering. Now, if you've already searched for particular items on our site and added them to your cart, they're gonna automatically show up uh, on this for your order. But I have started with a blank um, ordering screen uh, for today's purposes. Um, again, a couple different ways uh, that you can add um, from this screen, uh, but I'm going to go start with the assumption that you do have uh, the item numbers. So we're gonna go ahead and click on add new item. Go down here and we can search by SKU. It will learn different things that uh, you, you type in. Uh, so if there's an item that you order every week and you start to type in that SKU, it's gonna pop it down here as, as potential items that you are looking for. So it's what they call a dynamic search it, and it kind of does learn uh, some of your patterns to make it easier uh, for future orders. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and type in item 6791 zero zero and you can hit look up but it's going to automatically start to look that item up if, if it does match a number so it went ahead and brought up the uh, h4 line um, and what i need to do is order i'm going to i'm a length purchaser and i'm going to purchase 10 feet so i'm going to change the quantity to 10 feet um, now if i need anything particular on that item uh, that I need the saw operator or the picker to um, uh, catch on to, I'm gonna go ahead and type that into the item notes. So I'm gonna go ahead and say cut in half um, or any other particular notes that you wanna put on there. Now please note when you do add an item note, uh, it does uh, cause a small delay in the processing of your online order because it does go to a separate department to uh, make any particular changes that it needs to make. So if you're very close to your cutoff time, uh, that could cause some sort of uh, small delay. But so for now, I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna take those notes out. Okay. So all I want is 10 feet of that particular item. And I'm gonna go ahead and add that item by clicking the add item button. Um, let's say, all right, so that item now is updated. I'm gonna go ahead and add a new item. Okay. And let's go ahead and type in another SKU. Yeah, it's gonna go ahead and automatically look that up for me. So we got the uh, Alto Black. Uh, this time I'm going to need a chop. So anytime you need to change the um, way that you want the item, uh, this is where you do your drop down menu. Everything automatically defaults originally to your foot or length uh, skews. So uh, instead of feet or, or length, I wanna go ahead and do a chop. 
once I do chop, it's going to bring up your options for uh, your dimensions. So I'm just going to say 10 and let's make it so it's 10 and a half. So I could either go 10.5 or if I don't know the decimal, I can click over here on this little drop down button and it'll let me pick in the dimensions that I want to put in or the fractions that I want to put in. 10 5. Okay, so you obviously when I do 10.5, it automatically fills that in as, uh, as a half of an inch. Um, now you'll notice on this particular um, uh, line item, there's going to be item notes or label notes. You do not need to put anything in either of these, but just so you know the differences, item notes or items that will go to the saw operator or the picker or somebody on the floor of things that you need them to um, know. Again, cut in half or with this particular one, uh, we do not want any sort of, um, uh, for lack of a better word, uh, we, we want our, our dimensions to be exact. We don't want that little bit of a buffer um, uh, in the sizing. So I would write in cut exact. Label notes are items that only will print on the label. Uh, so when you get an item, it always has a label on it with the size and the SKU number. If you want to have notes for yourself or for your, your workers where it'll say uh, the name of the project or uh, the PO number, if this is how you keep track of things, that is where you will put that in the label notes. So this would be customer A. And then that will print only to you. Uh, that will not um, uh, cause the order to be reviewed and cause a delay. Only item notes will. Okay, so so there's there's two differences between those. Okay, so we got that. So I'm going to go ahead and add that item. Okay, and then once that's updated, um, we can go ahead and add another item. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and type in the, full, the same SKU for now. And this time though, I wanna do it as a join. Same concept as chop. We just go ahead and put in our dimensions, put in the quantity. So for instance, if we needed five of these, we would go ahead and put in five and add item. All right, and then one more time, we'll go ahead and just pick the same SKU to make it easy. This time though, I want a box of this. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit box. Okay, again, you can put item notes if need be, label notes if need be, and I just want one box. I'm gonna go ahead and add that item. Now, at this point, um, it, it'll, anytime there's anything that you need to know, it will pop up a note for you. So this will, what this is saying here is, um, this item will transfer from uh, the Chicago warehouse. So you wanna give it that extra week to be able to transfer. If you uh, do need uh, a box of molding and you want that for this, uh, this week, that your, your upcoming week for your delivery, and cannot wait those two weeks uh, or that extra week from Chicago, uh, what you'd want to do, as long as there's inventory in the local branch under item notes, again, where we want the picker or the, the operator to be able to see the notes, we would put in there, please, you don't have to put please, but I always put please, uh, uh, pick local branch for this week's delivery, if possible. I always put the if possible, that way, um, for some reason, if they only have you know, 50 feet and the box is 160 feet, um, that person that's reviewing the order will give you a call or an email and say, uh, we do not, sorry, we do not have the, the, the quantity that you're looking for, um, and then they'll give you options as far as uh, getting that from Chicago or what other options we may have, but that will trigger that to be reviewed. And then we're just gonna go ahead and hit confirm because we, we acknowledge that note that we put on there. Now at this point, um, we can add more items or what I, uh, when you're done, for instance, uh, if you put all your moldings in, if you hit this check inventory button, and you can do that after each line item, but I usually recommend putting uh, a couple in at a time just to, just to save yourself a little bit of time. Uh, once you hit that, if there are any uh, stocking issues, quant quantity issues, it would pop up here in red just to give you a, a, an alert and let you know what items would be on back order. 
Uh, at that point, you can delete the order or just move forward and uh, the back orders will automatically be filled for you. But all right, so after this now, I, okay, so now let's go ahead and add in, uh, I have some mats that I wanna order. Um, so I'll just type one here, 49.11. And it's gonna go ahead and um, uh, pop up the uh, Arctic Loganberry mat for me. Okay. Uh, here, if you needed a pack of those, you can put it to pack, um, but it's automatically going to de default to the lowest measure, which is one particular mat. Again, any item or label notes that you want to put in there, um, go ahead and do that. And then uh, your quantity, so we need three of those today, and add item. Okay, so um, again, so you just repeat this process for anything that you need until you're finished. If there's any items that you do not know um, what uh, the SKU number is and you wanna be able to look it up, you can use our search feature up here, or search bar, or you can also use our drop-down menus to look for what you're looking for. So I know I want um, some foam board, but I do not remember the SKU number. So I'm gonna go into um, our acid-free our acid option. And then it's going to you know, allow you to go ahead and pick, look down through here to pick what you want, or you can also narrow it down with our drop downs here on the left. So, but once you find an item that you want, you can hit the, view that product. And pick your, what you would like. I want, uh, I don't want a box. I just want one sheet of that. And then calculate the price and add to cart. Once that's added to the cart, you can continue to search for other items here and add those the same way. But once you've added everything, just go ahead and click back into your cart. Give it a second here. And you'll see that it's added into your items. So let's say we got we have everything. If you look over here, it's going to kind of give you your grand total of the order or up, uh, as far as uh, what you have put in the cart so far. But if we are done, let's go ahead and proceed to checkout. Now, one thing you always want to make sure, um, it should always be the same here because you're logged into your account, but uh, make sure your ship to and your bill to addresses uh, appear correct. Um, when you're there. And then if you go down here, it's gonna give you again a review, line by line item. If you want, you can double check everything. It gives you a grand total at the end. And now this here, since I'm logged in under my account, it's gonna look a little bit different, but if you have a credit card on file that you use, it's gonna let you choose which card you wanna use for this particular order. Um, and a new feature here, manage wallet. Uh, you can now add or subtract your own credit cards without having to go through customer service to do so. Um, so you could do that. Um, if you're on billing terms, it's automatically gonna you know, select that here for you, but it will give you an option if you want that one particular order to go on a credit card, or uh, it'll, it'll give you that option as well. Again, if there is a uh, PO number for this whole order, you can type that in here. So PO number one, um, and now order notes. Uh, that's anything general that you wanna go ahead um, for uh, your order as a whole. This would be if you don't want delivery of this, you can't wait for delivery of this, and you wanna do a pickup, what you could type in there, please set up, uh, set up as a pickup order. Um, Branch. Again, this will trigger the um, uh, this to go into a review, and they will go ahead and get that set up and send you the details on that. Okay. And then simply all you have to do now, I cannot hit this portion because it will submit the order, uh, but you would come over here, and after you select the payment method, this would be able to be clicked. You would hit submit order, and it will give you one last confirmation screen. You just uh, hit, hit submit at that point if everything looks correct, and then that is all you'll need. Um, there will be a... Um, a page that pops up with a confirmation of, of your order that you can print at that point. Um, and then also uh, soon after, once that order has started uh, processing in the system, you will get an email confirmation as well. Um, there's just one little difference. When you submit your order, the screen that pops up originally will have a uh, one order number 
when you get that other confirmation, it will have converted it to the LJ uh, order number that you, you're used to seeing on your billing. So those will be different, um, but you could give either number when calling customer service or emailing customer service with any questions on that. So that is the um, overall a quick, again, a quick tutorial of how to order from our site. As always, if you have any particular questions, give me a call. I'd be happy to set up a, a private Zoom uh, training on anything else that you would like to see. So thank you very much for watching the video and we will talk soon.